skin. That is technically not our first problem, our first concern, but when something happens with it, it becomes our greatest problem. That's why we, Catherine Duval Morales, Etienne Marcos, and me, Geneviève Le Droit, are Big Bang, and we think that somebody should accompany those people through every day of their lives to make them enjoy their little moments every day. You gave our company a mandate today to attract and recruit new and young customers to the brand with a digital strategy. But how are you going to do that? We should start with, to analyze your company and afterwards the market to make the best strategy for you. When we think about La roche Posay, the first thing that comes up in mind is the high quality of the product. We know that you do no compromise and you only use high quality ingredients to treat a large amount of skin issues. Also, you have a great market penetration. You are widely distributed all around the world. We also know that you are an IU recommended brand. You have more than 700 medical representatives that go everywhere around the world. And you have 25,000 dermatologists that approve your brand. With everything said, we know that one prescription will generate 20 sales of the product. Now that we know what makes La Roche-Posay a strong brand, let's look at its weaknesses. First of all, the differentiation. With La Roche-Posay, there is no unique selling proposition that is clearly shown, uh, comparing to other competitors like Vichy, Aven, and Bioderma. With Vichy, we see uh, the, the USP pretty clearly. It's dedicated to skin health for over 80 years. With Aven, it's, it's breakthrough in dermatology to meet sensitive skin's needs. And with Bioderma, it's biology at the service of dermatology. Then we asked ourselves, what is La Roche-Posay? And we thought about some words. We thought about intimidating, sanitized, expensive, white skin problems, uh, laboratory, and most of all, it was my mom's problem. Uh, but what La Roche-Posay is really, uh, actually, it's a better life for sensitive skin. And that's what we need to focus on. We need to address it clearly to uh, our new consumers, which are, which are 15, 25, and to, to work on it, to work on it in communication uh, and to respect it everywhere. The second point is mass communication. La Roche-Posay has a weak visibility in different media. We know that your business model is based on, on pro recommendation, but we think mass communication has to be better. And last but not least, certainly the digital portion of La Roche-Posay. We've looked at your website and we're looking for e-commerce that you can buy products online and we've seen that it's only available in the USA. It would be a great idea to expand the product because people want to go on your site to learn about a product, but they also want to buy it right now if they're appealed to it. Next is no digital strategy in stores. We know for a fact that brands uh, use that strategy in stores to just communicate with the client, with the target, and give them information about the product and so they can make their own research in the store. That would be a great idea too. And afterwards, the application that you have. Unfortunately, it crashed on us and it seems to not be working anymore. And we know for a fact that 16% of users will give it more than two attempts. So it's really important that your app is working and rolling because the 15 with 25 are a bracket that is really connected to their cell phone and they love to have an app that they can ask questions on it and just have infos. Now that we know what characterizes a brand, let's look at what we could do with it. First of all, work on distribution. As my colleague just said, the website, the US website of La roche is really based on e-commerce. Uh, we think this model should be widely spread. So globally spread, every LRP website around the world should have uh, his own e-commerce module. Second point is new partnership. We know for a fact that La roche is well distributed in pharmacies, drugstores, and is well recommended by specialists. But we think we could work on new partnerships, so distribute the product some, somewhere else, in new, uh, new distribution channels. So there are a lot of accessible channels right now, and we would like to work with you on that. The second point is the market. The market, the skincare market is huge and is powered by a great growth. Uh, let's look at some numbers. In 2014, the skincare, the global skincare market was $84.4 billion. It was already huge. It is forecast for the next five years to have a growth of 36%. 
which would give us a market of 113 billion dollars. So as I said, it is huge, there is a lot of money to do out of it, and it, it, because of the great growth, it has place for some new players or some new innovation or ideas. Then, let's look at the global skincare market distribution channel. As I said earlier, you are widely distributed and offered in pharmacies and drugstores. But we can see that the supermarkets are the place, it well, actually is the place where we can buy most of skincare product, 34.6%. Then it's the specialist, which represent 28.7%. So we think there's something to do out of this. Another opportunity, it's a new target. Uh, we are now facing to a different kind of customer that are evolving on their way to shop. I want you to meet Chloe, your 2016 customer. Chloe needs authority. We know that about 30% of Chloe's will rely on a lot of recommendation when they want to buy something. Also, they like promotion. About 71% of them are more likely to buy something if it's on sale or has a promotion or a little gift that comes with the product. Also, they are searching for consistency. About 60% will stick to a brand they like, so that's why La Roche-Posay needs to create a relationship with the consumer. They are also connected. We know for a fact that they always have their cell phone near, near them. They are addict. They will spend about 2.5 hours on social media. And finally, they are all about e-commerce. We know that 70% of the targets have ordered uh, products online in the past three months. So that's why La Roche-Posay needs to be online and everywhere so uh, Chloe knows when it's time to buy. With every opportunity that comes on the market, comes, with, comes a trap. So let's look at it. The first one is the industry perception. We know that the 15 to 25 years old are not always in contact with some specialists. You have 25,000 dermatologists that have they are branded with your product, they approved it, but they don't always get in touch with the bracket that we're targeting today. So that's an important fact to know. Other than that, 40% of the consumer will pay more for a product consistent with an image they like. They want to buy a product that is in symbiosis with their lifestyle. They want to live with it. They want to live through it. So that's why we want to accompany our customer in every little moment of their life so they can have a lifestyle with La Roche-Posay. Considering all of this, we can look at the competitors, which are probably the biggest threat on the brand. Uh, let's look at a little map we did. We did two axes that we thought were the most representative of, of the competitive market. The first one is trendiness, and the second one is price. What we can look and see is that Lavash Posay is probably the most expensive product in each, uh, each brand we looked at. We looked at Vichy, Aven, Bioderma, Nukes, Riskin, and Cetaphil. We think La Roche Posay uh, can stay at a, a price high like that because our consumers don't really care about the price as long as they can ident identify themselves to the brand. But we think it has to be a little more trendy. So we want to bring La Roche Posay to the next level. We want to bring it on top. Uh, La Roche Posay has to become a trendy product to be able to attract 15, 25 years old. It has to innovate to attract them. And we think we will know how to do that. We know that the strategy wasn't a part of the pre-case, but we wanted to give you a little sneak peek of what we can do for La roche We want and we will develop a new perception of the brand through an innovative digital strategy based on the lifestyle and each important moment of a young adult's life with the LRP and me strategy. We are the Big Bang team and together we will create the perfect universe for La roche -Posay.